So as 2018 comes to an end, let's take a look back at some of our favorite parts. So if that intro looked new to you, you might be wondering what's happening. And if it doesn't look new to you, well, welcome to our channel because you haven't seen any of our videos. And you can also tell that the name is not my name. It's Ted and Steph now because I wanted to see if Steph was any good at vlogging and she passed the test. So I let her be a part of the channel. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you like our new intro. That was the rebranding thing that we talked about in the last video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, that last video is right here, so go ahead and click it. So what we're doing today is we are talking about our 2018 and kind of like our highlights. This is mostly gonna be um, Instagram stories that like carry us through this whole video. We have all of our archive stuff, so I just wanna take a look and see what our 2018 consisted of. So when I organized what I did throughout the year, I actually put it all in order of like January, February, March, like through all the months. The highlight of my January was our niece Sophia was born. I bawled. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. I cried so hard. In January, I decided to take a semester off school. Um, I was actually going to school for nursing but I hated it. Yeah, you did. Um, I was, she complained every day. I was miserable. <laughs> um, so I decided to just take a semester off. Yeah, it was just really stressful because I was paying for it all by myself and I was also working full time. So it was just, it was rough. That was that. So February just really consisted of me working a ton. I used to work at Auntie Anne's Pretzels. <laughs> she hooked us up every single night. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Just mall hours stink, so. Yeah, they do. In March, I babysat a ton. So like February and March were like, I was like grinding. I was yeah. like working, I was babysitting, I was doing all that. In March is when I decided to pursue dental assisting. So that's when I actually started my dental assisting program. So I was really excited about that. So then in April, we went to Star Rock. We planned on making a video with that, but we, I don't think it ever. I don't think that ever happened. April, we played a ton of Monopoly with Ted's family. I think every night for like a week or two straight, we just played Monopoly. My parents are so good. It got it got intense. Got heated, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and then in May is when I got my first job as a surgical assistant with Oral Maxillofacial Surgery of Chicago. Favorite job ever, loved that job. Loved all the girls I worked with, loved the doctors. I was really sad to leave when I yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, I graduated the course with a perfect score on my final. The only person. Only person to do so. So that was a very proud moment. And then in May, we also went to St. Joseph's in Michigan with Wally and Hannah. Such a great time. I know, that was such a good trip. I loved it. it Wally so and Hannah know how to how to party it up. <laughs> <laughs> we really didn't even do anything though. Like... No, we just hung out and relaxed. I think it was Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun, really relaxing, and just hung out on the beach and ate some yummy food and it was just really nice. It was, it was so much fun. I'm excited for you guys to meet Wally and Hannah. They're such an awesome couple. So if you guys are watching this. <laughs> that's so weird. We did the same exact thing, babe. Oh my, that's why I rebranded the tennis stuff. <laughs> We're the same person. We literally are, <laughs> that's so crazy. So then in June, we got engaged. And then I actually put for one of my highlights for June, I put, I dog sat Piper and she scratched me in the face. That was That's a great story. Cause that was like one of my only memories on like Instagram, on the yeah. Instagram archives. It was like, or Snapchat, I think it was Snapchat. Okay. It was like my only memory from June. Okay. Besides the engagement. And I had like a huge scratch on my face. The people who filmed and photographed our wedding, they're actually really good friends of ours. Whenever they would go out of town, they would ask us to dog sit. So they have a golden doodle. Um, she's gorgeous. I love her. She's Piper. so sweet. She's so sweet. Nonetheless, she's beautiful. <laughs> Josh and Sabrina, if you're watching this, shout out to you guys. I hope that Tucker, the new golden labradoodle, is that what, what they're called? He, I don't think he's not a golden doodle because he's his fur is black. Is he a golden doodle? I don't know if you call him golden doodles. Is Tucker golden doodle? Okay, <laughs> leave it in the comment section down below, Josh. All right, thanks. But then in July, I turned 19 and got my wisdom teeth removed. Now, I put this in my highlights because I got my wisdom teeth removed and then a couple days later was the 4th of July. And if you know me, I love food and barbecue. So that was rough not being able to indulge on the was festivities. That, was that at Jeff's house where we had the barbecue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In August, 
was pretty much just preparation for our wedding and moving into Ted's parents' house. Um, that was an adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy planning a wedding in two and a half months, let me tell you. In September, we got married and went on our honeymoon. That was a lot of fun. We actually went on our honeymoon in St. Joseph's as well. It was just awesome just to relax. Especially after all the stress of planning a wedding in two and a half months. Yeah. So it was good to just not have to work, literally not worry about the thing. Yes. That's so true. And my parents, they got us a hotel the night of our wedding, so we were able to relax and get away for a little bit, and then the next morning we would wake up and go to St. Joseph's on our actual honeymoon. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. So much fun. In October, we moved to Texas. A couple days after we got here, we went to Magnolia, and that was a ton of fun. We went with Ted's parents. Those cupcakes yeah. were amazing. Yeah, we went to, what was it? It's like the bakery there. I don't even know what it's called. I'm not sure, but I know that the food there is amazing from the food trucks. The tea that you get there and the huge mason jars. Yeah, well that's not like Magnolia. It's like, they had a festival going on so they had a bunch of food trucks and like a yeah. bunch of um, vendors. Vendors, yeah. So we were able to get a taste of everything there. It it's was so, fun. so much fun. For October I put that we met the bunches. So that's mm. Ted's boss's family and they're amazing. And we're super grateful for them because without them we would literally have no one here. Um, Seriously. So we love you guys. We love you so much. <laughs> so November was our first holiday, our first major holiday away from our family. So we celebrated Thanksgiving with the bunches, so. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> and then the highlight of my December was I filmed for the first time with Ted. Yeah, we, uh, we had a shoot in Fredericksburg in Texas here and Steph had the camera and I told her, hey, can you shoot some close-ups of the band and some people dancing? I'll be wider on the gimbal getting some creative shots. And I just reviewed her footage the other day and she's a natural. Yeah, I was super proud of myself and it was a lot of fun. It was like, it was a good date night. It was. Date night, because we were working, but it was fun. That looks like a pretty full year there. Yeah, that was my 2018. So what would you change about 2018? Not a thing. Not one thing. Mm -mm. Do you want to do more in 2019? Yeah. You do? I mean, yeah. I'm happy with what I did, but good. I'm always looking for an adventure. So yeah. I'm super excited to do more. Cause That's why you married me. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else you want to say about your 2018? Um, Not really. Just that I'm super grateful for all the new people that I've met. And I'm just super grateful for this year and all the growth and experiences that I've had and I can't wait to do 2019 and, and kill it. Together. <laughs> By 2018, probably one of the best years of my life. The best year of my life. This is why. Number one, I was offered- I'm so sorry. <laughs> So 2018, I was offered a dream job. Literally, I was asked to film and edit for YouTube videos, for YouTube clients, um, for weddings and corporate work, commercial work, and how would I ever pass that up? Next, we went to St. Joseph's, like Steph said, that was an amazing experience. Here is a little video clip that I put together from our trip there. Not only was that amazing, we also got engaged. And because I do so many videos and I have so many connections with videos, I love videos. So here's a little clip from our engagement. For two years. For two years. And for forever. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Stephanie Schluter. Will you be my wife? <laughs> Let me see your finger. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Next came my amazing bachelor party with my bros and my dad, which I would call my bro too. Love you, dad. We went to this place called Top Golf. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the best golfer at all. I'm actually not good at all. But it was so much fun to hang out with the bros and have all the appetizers in the world. Literally, we had so much food. They all come home and they're all like. Oh. Like, we gained 10 pounds. <laughs> so bloated. It We're was like waddling through the house. So worth it. Like Steph said, we plan our wedding in two and a half months. 
I'm just gonna skip over that because we don't want to relive the past, especially that part. <laughs> so by planning our wedding in two and a half months, we had to do a lot of our own stuff. We had our wedding in our backyard, but my brother and I actually made our donut wall. Steph made her own aisle runner. That I didn't even use. <laughs> can you can you explain just a tiny bit of that? Yeah, so for my aisle runner, I really wanted like something like different, I guess, because it was in the backyard and I didn't just want to walk down on grass for some reason, I don't know. I always saw pictures of like people laying just like raw flower petals, like just on their aisle. And I thought that would be like impractical to like just leave them there and like not really do anything with them and they would just be left in the backyard. So I figured I would just get like a cheap like aisle runner, like a really long one from like Amazon and then glue like artificial flower petals to it. The way I had done it, it was really, intense and just a lot of work and I worked on it for I don't know like 30 days and I only got like 10 feet done. She was going on one pedal at a time. My dad even pointed this out in one of our speeches. You can hear it right here. She was making her own runner 10 feet long gluing one pedal at a time on the runner and she got to 6,000. I just shake my head whenever I think of it because that's all I can do is like, what was I even thinking? I mean, we did use it. We put it like under our table where we did our unity cross, but it, I didn't walk down it. All right, next is we had our bridal shower and that was so much fun. We actually had it planned at our church back home in Chicago, Moraine Valley Church. Shout out to y'all. We're on our way to our bridal shower. Look at this, look at her. How are you liking your bridal party shower? Very fun. The sun looks so good behind. Do a hair flip really quick. We played games and we ate food and just celebrated our marriage and our love and with a lot of people there and it was a lot of fun. My brother Tommy got a tattoo. You ready Tom? For what? To get your tat? Huh? To get your tattoo? I don't know what that is. You're getting a tattoo you know. Today? Like right now. <laughs> no one would ever think he would do it. Ever. Like he's the last person we would think that would get one, but he got one. It turned out amazing. Love you, Tom. After that, I flew to Texas with my mom um, to scout out apartments and to also meet my boss, Jordan, for the first time and look around the studio. It was an overall an amazing experience, besides the fact that my mom is terrible in planes. Number one, she won't look at you, talk to you, listen to you, <laughs> and she's closing her eyes the whole time the whole time with headphones on, blasting Christian stuff, and she has a puke bag right here. <laughs> I hope not to embarrass you, but. Good memory of 2018. Good memory. <laughs> so when we got back from Texas after getting this apartment, after meeting Jordan, everything going great, um, I worked on a ton of stuff with my awesome friend Jeff back at home. We worked on s countless videos for church, from video announcements to the whole life hack series, to the baptism promotional video, to every single bumper that we made together. Like, so much work was put into it and it all paid off. Cause look where I am now today. Thank you, Jeff. You made me the man I am. I also filmed a documentary with my cousin Cody for a haunted cemetery called Bachelor's Grove. Here's a short clip of what we made. such a more exciting year than me. <laughs> well, I just do a lot of video stuff, that's why. Yeah, I don't do anything. Video stuff gets you connected. Yeah. Hey, 2019 is gonna be so much fun for you. We're literally doing this all the time now, so get ready. A minor part of 2018 is we got married. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that was an amazing experience. I was so, so happy on that day. I know you were too, and it just, it turned out better than we expected. It was so perfect. It was. Nothing went wrong. We don't have our wedding video uploaded on our channel. We'll probably upload it on Valentine's Day or something, just cause it sets the mood. After we got married, we went on our honeymoon. Steph explained all about that. It was overall an amazing experience. The pizza down there at St. Joe's was to die for. It was good. I ran my first 10 miles without stopping. That was crazy. I filmed many wedding videos for many couples, and I mean, I guess it ties in with this year's where I'm working now. I filmed many wedding videos here too, and I have tons of behind the scenes stuff on Instagram. And also, if you guys want to check out our Instagrams, 
They are in the descriptions down below. So go ahead and um, leave us a follow. So that way you guys don't miss stuff that we post on Instagram. We post a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So make sure to, make sure to look at our Instagrams. After that, we moved to Texas. Welcome to our home. Crazy experience with the U-Haul, and we, we actually drove here 16 hours. My dad drove here all 16 hours. Crazy. God bless his soul. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. Me either. But. The next day, we like, got the U-Haul, got all the stuff made, a couple trips back and forth. We were moved in the next day. We were so quick with getting everything organized. If your parents were here, we couldn't have done it. No. No. We couldn't have. Love you guys. <laughs> and then like Steph said, we visited the Magnolia Market, which is an amazing experience. Make sure you check it out if you're ever in Waco, Texas. And then came my first day of work and it was amazing. Everything you dreamed of? Everything I dreamed of, yeah. And more. And more. And like I said, I went on many shoots with my new job. My boss is amazing, Jordan. You guys met him in the Christmas vlog. But here's just a couple video clips of Jordan being awesome. And then we had Thanksgiving at the Bunches house, and then we had Christmas at the Bunches in-laws house. And you can see our first Christmas away from home on last week's upload, where we uploaded the Christmas video. But that was our 2018. If I can fix one thing about it, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would fix anything. I would just say that I feel, I always feel like I'm not active enough. You're here compared <laughs> to my year. I'm not active enough. I just want to do more in 2019. I'm going to be super active with posting. I'm going to be super active like with my health stuff that I was talking about. I'm so excited for 2019. I'm going to kill it. You're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. This channel is going to kill it. I hope your 2018 was amazing also. In the comment section down below, put what your favorite memory of 2018 was. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be posting every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button after you have subscribed. So that way you won't ever miss an upload. Like I said again, we're gonna be active on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you don't wanna miss them. So we hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on Friday.